Hi guys, my name's Mitz and I'm going to show you a couple of tips and tricks on Google Chrome. So the first one I'm going to show you is to pin your tabs. Now I've got my favourite tabs open here and um, the reason I'm going to pin the tabs is because if I do that, um, every time I open up Chrome they'll be there and it'll be the exact pages. So I've chose ones that I use all the time. So I've got a YouTube, um, Canva, Amazon, uh, Chat GPT, and also um, AI Video Creator. So I've got them, now I'm gonna pin them. So all I have to do is go up the top there, right click on them and press pin. And it turns into this smaller icon here. So one of the benefits is that it doesn't take up much space anymore. As you can see, they're getting smaller. So I'm going to pin them. And I'll just pin that one. And there's a new tab there. So now I can just close um, this completely and go and down the bottom of the screen, click on Chrome open it up and the pinned tabs will come to the exact page that I saved them on. So I think that's pretty handy and also it's quite small so you don't have, um, it's not taking up so much space because I do get a lot of tabs open so that's one good thing. Now one thing I do like about this as well is that you can't close these tabs. They, they're not big enough to close. Um, if you want to close them, you need to right click and then go unpin. Okay, so I never want to close them though because I'm always using them. So this is very handy to help you get your work done. Um, you can always open up any other tabs if you want, but these are the main ones. Um, you can add as many as you want as well. So I'm pretty good, ha happy with that one. Another great tip for Chrome is um, to check out your saved passwords and update them, edit them, check them for safety, stuff like that. So you can go up to the settings, those three dots in the corner up on the right hand corner, press on that, go right down to settings down the bottom. So when we get into the settings, we just go to autofill and passwords, press on that. Now you can go to, uh, this is interesting, this spot here, because there's two things that are quite good here. Now one is the password manager, so you can click in there and you can click on any of the things that are listed here. We can also do this password checkup up the top here. So you press that, it checks your passwords. I did this before. Um, this is not very good because for just generic sites I do use a lot of the same passwords so it's gonna make me you can click on this and it will show you the sites um, now I can cl click on this one now what this is is it says I've got the same username for three websites here and possibly four with the same password. So yeah, they are, um, that is a bit risky. So you can press on change password and it'll take you to, to the site. It'll log you in, then you go in and change the password, which is pretty handy. So you might not realize that you're doing that. Um, yeah, I thought that one was pretty good. Now this one here is not good. Um, it says that it's a reused password. These are very old by the way so I don't need to worry about that but if I really wanted to um, I could go and change the password. I can also delete them here. So I can delete that one. Just press delete because it just doesn't exist anymore. So delete yeah, go through a few things and delete them, tidy it all up. If you're not using something, get rid of it. Um, 
some of these websites don't even exist anymore so that's all right so that's a good way to check your passwords and see what's happening with them now you really shouldn't have repeated passwords or weak passwords the reason I've got weak passwords is because some of them were actually made when there wasn't such a uh, they now they demand you have eight characters with um, you know um, different you know a number included and a capital and stuff like that well yeah these would be the old ones that I don't really use anyway so that's uh, an interesting one so we go back go back oh, get rid of that now we'll go back to here now that was the Google password manager now we want to go to this one payment methods I'm gonna um, check out this now this these are very old cards here so I'm gonna press on one now this is gonna take me to Google pay um, and it's going to show me the cards that I've got in there but um, they're pretty much um, expired they're very old I haven't gone in there and fixed it up at all so we could just press on remove and remove these old cards remove yeah just go through and remove them you can also click on add payment method and you can add a credit card or debit card in there um, you can also change different settings in here which I thought was quite handy alright so that was a good one um, let's go on to the next one um, another great tip is in the same section here in the settings go down to downloads and you can choose which folder your downloads go to which is great and by default it you it would go to the downloads folder on your C drive so uh, that's not what I wanted to do because I don't like storing things on my C drive because I've got another drive to store my data so I go to D drive now you can just press on that and browse and find the folder that you want now also with this one it says ask where to save each file before downloading now it's gonna it doesn't matter what f um, folder you choose here because it's going to ask me every time where I want to put it so for example if I go here and press on download video for this one um, now if anyone doesn't know what this is this is um, in video AI and um, I made a well they call it a faceless channel but um, I think it's quite good uh, with a with really good information that I've made um, it's about positive vibes anyway um, I'll put the link down in the description so you can go and have a look if you like I haven't really done much to it but I have made a lot of videos and I have um, got them ready to um, schedule uh, but I have to write descriptions for them and that there's about a hundred videos in there that I haven't posted so that should keep me going for so so if I posted two a week or something that or maybe three a week that would keep me going for a while now this is just a channel that I started on the side so now this is going to download usually I just go boom straight up to the downloads folder but instead it's going to open up that actual um, I chose that uh, that is my choice of where I want the downloads to go but I don't have to have it there I can choose anything I like on the PC I can go to um, any just go into any folder I like and put it in there and save it so uh, for example I can go into the positive vibes and save it in there there we go so now it's going into that folder instead of just a random downloads folder All right.
that was a good one. All right. The next tip is just a quick one. It's how to get rid of this bar that's across here. So what we want to go is we're in settings still, of course. Now, if you've forgotten how to get to settings, you go up the top to the three little dots and you go right down to the bottom and press settings. So now we want to go to appearance. Now in here you can change a few things and here it is here, show bookmarks bar. Now we want to get rid of that so then it's gone. Now I'll do that again, turn it on and there it is and then turn it off, get rid of it because it just it's just a waste of space unless you want shortcuts there. Um, I've got the pinned tabs up there, I just like that. I don't want too much going on. So get rid of that. On the other hand, if you do like this uh, bookmark bar, we can go here and right click on the bookmark and go to bookmark manager and you can delete um, ones that you want or you can add new bookmarks. So let's have a look at this. And delete bookmarks that you've got. There's uh, the ones. And you can go up here and add a new bookmark. Add a new folder. Import bookmarks. Yeah, etc. etc. So it could be quite handy if you want. Um, now, you just easily delete them like that too. That one doesn't say anything. Delete, uh, delete, delete. Delete them all if you want and start adding new ones. There's a lot of other settings in here. You can change the font size. I've got it on kind of large. Um, you can make it smaller. You can also use a customized font. Um, this one here, I use this a bit, page zoom. Now not for me but I do use it for like my dad or something like that it really zooms in and it, it's quite difficult because you got it makes the bars yeah you have to scroll a bit to see everything but um, it's easier to see so and that's just for Google Chrome so when you get to your desktop it's the same okay um, we're just talking about Google Chrome um, you know tips and tricks at the moment so so this only um, zooms in on Google Chrome now I put it back to a hundred percent just so I can see everything clearly all right my next tip is about controlling the sound of your tabs when you're using Google Chrome so for example, um, I've got two tabs here that could possibly have sound. So if I turn the sound on, okay, they do have sound. But now that I've got something with sound on it, I get this little icon up the top here that lets me control the music. So I press on that and I've got the two choices here. Now these are my videos on another channel. So... Um, Previously I did a little um, tutorial but I used some copyright music so can't do that. Um, this time I'm using my own videos with my own um, sound on it, <laughs> just in case. Now um, what you can do is you can press play here or just say I had four tabs open, it would have all of them there for me and I can choose which one to play, which one to pause. Uh, which is really handy if you've got like a lot of tabs open and something starts playing an ad or something and you can come in here and see which ones are playing the sound. Now you can also pause it, play it, whatever. So just say I want to play that one. Um, so that one would be playing, then we'll I can play this one. In shaping our lives. This isn't Without having to go back to the tab and find out where it is. So it's good for watching your YouTube videos or whatever. Um, you can line them up if you want. Um, line up a few tabs with some videos or podcasts that you want to watch and just come along and press play. 
and then when that finishes come along and press the next one um, yeah so that was a pretty handy tool I thought they added and because um, it was quite annoying like I remember when there was sound playing and you couldn't see um, you had so many icons um, up there so many uh, tabs and you couldn't see which one was playing the sound so now you've got this little icon which is really helpful all right that was the last tip thanks for watching today if you like this video make sure you subscribe comment down below if you want to see any more tips that I didn't mention today okay thank you